Oskaka, man of the hour right now, and it sounds like we've got him on the line. Oskaka, can you hear us? Hello, yeah. Congratulations on your win tonight. This one's got to feel good to put a win on the board versus the number one seed in the standings right now. Uh, talk to us about this match. Uh, the, you know, thought process, queuing up, strategies, preparation, all that good stuff. So in the first game, I felt like he was going to queue uh, Control Warrior, actually. Um, I play a lot of Freeze Mage, or at least that's what he knows me for. I haven't played a lot recently, but that's usually what I like to play in Rogue as well. So Control Warrior lines up well against those, so I queued Druid um, and kind of like barely got that game. And also, the last game was kind of interesting. I was actually a little bit distracted and I'm also tired. Actually, not, I'm actually not even sure if he had a patron left in his deck. I think he didn't, but I was like playing around it because I wasn't 100% sure if he had one left or not. So it was kind of embarrassing for me. But uh, yeah, also like a few misplays in the Hamlock game. I'm so used to like the Imgang boss interaction on the full board. So I thought that it would only, it would only spawn like one spider from the death battle, but it spawned two and then I you know, had to waste some damage there. You know, uh, we actually were unsure if he had a patron left as well. He actually did. He drew it on like <laughs> the last turn, but we, we somehow lost that one too. Uh, I want to ask you a question about your, your, how you personally prepare for this kind of match. Uh, your season hasn't gone the way you, know, you want to, and you're playing the number one player in the league coming into this game. Do you prepare differently? Like, how do you get yourself up for a match like this? Um, well, I kind of think it's like, it's Hearthstone, right? I don't, you know, think it's too big of a difference. I mean, obviously, Doc's an amazing player, but I don't think it's like an insane amount of difference between the number one player or like the number five player. I don't prepare differently for them. I prepare the, I prepare the same way. But uh, yeah, I mean, every match is tough. And this one, I just barely got in the end. So I am going to visit last night, or I'm sorry, two days ago, you played Mech Shaman five times in a row. <laughs> Uh, talk to us about what's happening here. Because even at the end of the match, after you lost, it looked like you had just had a lot of fun playing. Um, talk to us about that one, and, and do you feel like just enjoying yourself and relaxing is a good mindset to have to keep yourself in a competitive mood? Um, no, not really, but I had a couple of friends who were, you know, saying, just do it in the Skype chat. So, <laughs> you know, like, I felt like the first three were fine, but then, you know, from there on, it was kind of them pushing me to play it, and then... I just barely didn't get the win, <laughs> but it would have been fun to, you know, queue Mech Chum on five games in a row and then still win. And but. then just over the course of your HPL season, um, obviously this is a very different format than what's traditionally out there. Uh, talk to us about what you've learned in your journey here through HPL and how you can apply that to the rest of your games. Well, starting off, I actually, I think I, it was like partly unlucky and partly me not being uh, familiar with the format. I felt like control decks were actually weaker, like I learned that. Uh, and, you know, decks that aren't really targetable, if you can't counter them and abuse them in this format, uh, like Druid and Patron and Hunter, those decks are generally stronger than something like Freeze Mage, where it's like, if they know you play it, then they have like a 90 or 80% win rate versus you in one game. So, uh, yeah, I tried to play less of that. It actually happened in this series, but I haven't played it in a while, so I figured it wasn't 100% expected. Um, yeah, I mean, I've learned how to play the format a little bit better, I feel, and it's also shown in, like, the matches that I've won. Yeah, I totally agree with you. You're looking a lot better lately, and uh, you still can turn the season around, put up a respectable record towards the end. And again, beating the number one seed here tonight, uh, it's got to feel good doing it. Congratulations on your win. Thank you.